Hi, I'm Tony Maldonado. I'm from San Antonio, Texas, and I'm a senior accounting major here at ECU. So what inspired me to be part of the Army National Guard was my dad. Service has always run big in my family, and I had a lot of respect for my dad because he had served in the military. I always had a lot of pride telling people that my dad was in the Marine Corps or things that my dad had done and I would like to also do something greater than myself that my children can be proud of. I really wanted to enlist in the Guard after my senior year, but my parents were really pushing me to start college first. So I waited until after my freshman year. I went to basic training that summer, and then after that I went back to school. And then the following summer I did AIT, which is the Advanced Individual Training portion. When I returned to school, after AIT in fall of 2017. Around Thanksgiving, I got a notification that I was going to be deployed with the new unit that I had just been assigned to. So it was kind of a shock. I wasn't expecting it to be so soon. I left school that December after the semester was over and my platoon and I mobilized in Fort Bliss for the next five months. And then we got a few days off so we could go home, see our families, and then we deployed to Djibouti, Africa. And I was there for six months, and then I was in Somalia for three months. I was stationed at Camp Lemonnier, and we were the QRF team, the Quick Reaction Force team. We are lights, armor, infantry. So we had Humvees and MATVs to do route hardening for the Air Force before they'd go out to do their flights. We would do patrols around the base, just outside the wire, we'd do patrols around the city. In my platoon, I was the second youngest guy out of the 20 guys. So going into that environment where I'm the second youngest, then these guys, some of them are prior active duty. So they've already been on multiple deployments, just meshing all of our different worldviews and perspectives into one small little area. Definitely taught me more about respecting other people's opinions. One of the programs that I'm in here at ACU, it's called Lene, Loving Your Neighbor As Yourself. That always resonated with me, loving your neighbor as yourself. It's an organization about service, but going overseas really put that to a test because a lot of times the other men in my platoon would really test me because we we're just so different and I wouldn't feel like loving them all the time. But at the end of the day, you know, being a Christian, you're called to love your neighbor as yourself. And growing through those experiences of deploying together, really helped solidify that brotherly love. And also extending that outwardly to the natives in Djibouti, just having compassion on them. You know, we're there to help them in realizing that they have the same issues as we have here in the States with terrorism. And they just don't have a military presence strong enough to deter it all the time. And so even though I'm over there, I'm away from my family, I'm there doing it for them because you know, you have to love your neighbor as yourself.